So today is physics error Thursday and today I've got for you rounding error. So let's say in a simple calculation of velocity you've got something's gone 20 meters in 3 seconds. So you're going to do velocity is displacement over time, 20 divided by 3, the calculator is going to say 6.6 .6, and it's going to have a little dot on top, the recurring sign. Well, hmm, okay, actually if you did that, if you wrote that down exactly like that, you've done it exactly right, but you will not have got full marks on most exam boards. And the reason for that is rounding error. Always do some rounding. You've given your answer there to an infinity of decimal places, and we don't really need to see that. The two correct answers for full marks will be this, 6.7 or 6.67. Okay, so they're expecting you to round, and in those cases, I hope you can see that's either two significant figures or three significant figures. So that's what we mean by rounding error. And rounding is something that you need to check through as you... Um, at the end of the paper, I would suggest it's an important thing to check through. And it's not the same in physics as it is in maths. They might want the 6.6 .6 recurring sign in maths, but in physics we want an absolute answer. We, we want a, a rounded to two or three significant figures. As one more thing to say, especially if you're looking at A-level physics, then the typical rounding error might be premature approximation, and you don't want that. So that is, during your working out, you need to actually be working to more significant figures than your answer is given. And that's a good calculator skill to have. You know, you can work with the answer the calculator's just given and it knows what it was. Or if it's a simple fraction, you can work with that fraction throughout your calculations rather than rounding to two significant figures earlier and then giving your answer to two significant figures and it's a decimal place out uh, here or there. I hope that helps. That's Physics Era Thursday. I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.